This KVK is by far one of the worst KVK that you can ever be in. A lot of betrayals happen in this KVK. It all started with 14 betraying their allies in here. Now, this KVK is the Light and Darkness. The game have already set allies and enemies in here to where preventing betrayal to happen. But these kingdoms in here made a history in Rise of Kingdoms, making betrayal happen in this KVK. They want us to share this on YouTube. Even if K14 loses in this KVK, we lose with pride. This is better than winning with lies and betrayal like 05 and 06. Share it on your YouTube. Also, stop lying about us to get views and like. This is said by a player here in 14. They mention about 05 and 06 about doing its own betrayal. But in the very start of this, we saw that 14 colluded with 31. And they fought against 05 and as well as 27. 05 was able to block 06 already. And then the yellow camp here, I think that's 9, and which they have blocked in here. As you can see, their own allies in here, their own teammate, they blocked them. They were blocking the orange at one point. So as you can see, who is really the traitor of this KVK? Who really is betraying? And I'm sharing it on YouTube for you guys. One thing that I can say is that 14 is really the traitor of this KVK who betrayed their allies. Now, they colluded with 31. 31 is the darkness camp. 31 enabled 14. Now, is 31 really guilty? I should say that 31 is not directly guilty for it, but them enabling 14 made a lot of things in here complicated. In my opinion, next time, do not enable anybody to do any betrayal in your KVK. If somebody wishes to betray, just inform the camps and let them do what they need to do and do not get involved with it. That is my biggest suggestion to the leadership in Rise of Kingdoms. Now, current status of today, as we can see that 14 is now being eliminated in KVK and also 31 being eliminated. Why is 31 being targeted in here? There's various reasons for it, but I'm going to give you my version in here. My version in here is that if 31 just allowed 04 to be able to get in into the king's land, I feel like everything would have really changed. Now, as this KVK transpired, there has been a lot of talks ongoing. Now, 31 brings in a huge spotlight as they have the strongest player in this KVK, which is Nefisto. Now, Nefisto have reached 1 billion power, but he has now dropped out of the billion power. But it's of course, easy for him to reach to 1 billion as he has money to do so. Now, one thing I should tell you, Nefisto uh, plays this game, and I believe he's very serious about this and very dedicated. He also have pilots to play the game. Nefisto is definitely run by multiple players in here, but lately we have seen Nefisto speak up. And what I've realized then is that Nefisto is very much more invested into the game and he says that he is really like not as invested i guess since people have mentioned that to me since the pilots run most of the stuff in here um uh, nefisto also have said i think in other chatters that i've heard is that he doesn't really um have involvement with the leadership but he is currently really one of the leadership team in here so Nefisto have said a few things in here, right? You guys have seen in my previous video when we interviewed Peach, where Nefisto called out 04 and 06, a W-H-O-R-E kingdom. So that ignited a few things with the current situation. With now 04 being able to get into the King's Land changes a lot of things. As you can see, this KVK is a hot mess. Now, not only that, when we did that video with Peach, you know, Nefisto also got angry and got mad. Now, I don't want to judge him just because he's angry with the game. And he actually said this to us in here. Let's go watch this together. All right. So this is a uh, video clip from Lexus Gaming recording, I think, or it was a stream. 
Right, let's listen to Nefisto. You are finally going to be hearing Nefisto's voice in this video. Um, also, we did publish the previous video, like I said, with Peach. Make sure to check that out as well. Before I went to Chinchi, by the way, the less reputable YouTuber. Now, I am one of the less reputable YouTubers in Rise of Kingdoms, which I have been doing this game for four years now. And we are also sponsored still by Rise of Kingdoms. And, and I really don't know how he has followers because you sit there and you listen to him talk for like a minute and you want to pull your ears out. He has the most annoying voice I've ever heard. I have the most annoying voice that he has ever heard. Now, I I am not upset or I am not mad of what he is saying in here because this is completely his opinion and he is 100% entitled to say these things. These are his opinion and, you know, I can't be mad at that because there are people who are in this world that will not like who you are, which is, you know, him. He doesn't really know me for in person. Maybe he just... He just knows me or sees me on YouTube, and he doesn't like me just because of a few things that he said. Let's let's repeat that again. And and I really don't know how he has followers because you sit there and you listen to him talk for like a minute, and you want to pull your ears out. So, yep. He has the most annoying voice I've ever heard. I have the most annoying voice that he has ever heard. Out of everyone that he have met in his life. I am the most annoying voice, or I have the most annoying voice that he has ever heard. Very, very interesting. You know, I respect his opinion. I am so sorry, but that is a fact. I don't like That is okay. I like him either. He knows I don't like him. Okay. I'm a shit school. And he also mentioned another content creator there, which is Chisco Gaming. And he didn't say the name properly as well. He renamed his name a little bit different which i'm not going to say here now it is very interesting because he is quite of a character i can't be mad for him saying that he doesn't like me you know there are players in the game that doesn't like me there are players that you know don't like me just simply because i make contents in here the only thing i can say to you guys is get to know me you know you guys don't know me you know now um peach have also sent us a lot of um images in here screenshots and we're also going to look into the leadership in um, 05 as well. Um, so as you can see here, screenshot between 4, 31, 2, and 6. What are you guys going to do with 14? They are still touching the Zig. What is the plan? Basically from 31, Sam Sam here. They get the rewards from Zig, and we will remove the flags there. Um, it says here they are not allied with us with 06. So 06 were saying, hey, they're not allied with us. They can't be there. But 31 is like, you know, pushing that idea you can see that 06 does not really credit 14 being as an ally not the last zig just achievement kvk and bro are you kidding it looks bad on us others will think we make a deal to move to remove 05 from kingslands come on bro so 06 here honest kingdom here what we can see now there are more chats in here that peach have sent us um you can see here in the lost kingdom nefisto um mention here all i have to say is peach didn't have the nerve to get into lax's stream with me so as you see here nick i told her no so you guys wouldn't insult and harass her she doesn't deserve to be in that position nefisto wow all right so more messages in here you can shove every reward up in the light doesn't reach you will end up where you were before we held and 14 got kicked out of their alliance. So will 04 and 02. 02 says we'd be a complete loser if 14 didn't make a mess. Now, more chat here from Nefisto. 06, I gave a clear instruction. The map say exactly as it was. I know what you want and what you will do. 04 was not supposed to move, so you plot to betray. Nick says no more drama. Nefisto, and I hope everyone read this in the chat. I don't care about the star, but... It seems that he does, or at least a kingdom does. So it's very confusing. But I will not bend my honor like you obviously can. You can send me back in the past, but you won't take my honor. 04 helped and ultimately goal of kicking out 14. They kind of needed to build to do that, what 05 have said. So it's definitely very interesting, you know, what we see here. Now, there's a lot of things in here. Um, also, there is this, the Matrix, messaging, um, I believe this is to message to Nick. Oh, this was actually 05. 
Uh, we're just hunting snakes. We can give it to you. They're offering it to, I believe this is 05. And then it says it's better than 06 taking it hot. They're trying to create something near for them to fight for 06. There's a message here now. I think this was the one who was sent to Nick. As you can see here, we will give you the star said by Nefisto. If we get it, that's a promise. My word is not empty. This chat in here, as you can see, is quite desperate on KVK. Now, as you can see with that statement, um, it's, it, you can definitely see that he is very in invested within the game, which is not wrong. It is something that we definitely we, you know, definitely want. Um, my reach and my take in here is that I wish Nefisto would be more 100% invested in the game rather than allowing his pilot run the game because I feel like there's so many disconnect with him letting pilots run it. I really don't think he needs pilot to run it. You know, I think he can definitely handle it by himself. Now, let's take a look at what Chungu Dynamite have sent to us in here. So here's the chat here. Um, I believe this is before everything have uh, happened, before all the betrayal. As you can see here, I'm pretty finished with these ridiculous ongoing trash 14. You joined our KBK team. Stop disrespecting my team or you can just go back to home kingdom. All right. Next year here from 14 said this team is four and does not belong to anyone. I don't care what some inexperienced people say. If you can cooperate with three other kingdoms and if not, goodbye. This is our last word. I think this is where um, they end up getting kicked out of the group chat. Now, as you can see, if you can cooperate with three other kingdoms, you do not get the last word. That said, you joined us. Now, it says you will no longer be included in this team if you can't not cooperate. So they're trying to uh, find a solution in here with 05, what we can see. My team has been kind and reasonable with you, and yet you would insult us and expect that we... The seed A kingdom will be bullied by you. Incorrect, 05 have said. As you can see, he's like, I don't care. The last meeting agreed on the views. You have disrespected us and treated us like this. So cut out the garbage. If in your next message you will continue to be rude, you will be removed from this team. It says that we are group work. You don't have the right to decide anything by yourself. So eventually they got removed, and I think they shouldn't have been removed, honestly. Um, I think they should have just kept everything and, you know, discussed things further. But I guess in that type of situation, it is definitely very heated. So we've given you some of the screenshots in here and my opinions about this KVK as well. Um, so far... What I can see is that there is no, you know, there is no hope for this one. Um, in Laxus Gaming Stream, I did hear that Nefisto was saying about 05 going to be, a, you know, betraying um, 06. Um, I did confirm this to 05 that there will be no type of betrayal that is going to happen. And they actually signed a treaty. They actually drafted a treaty. 05 this. 05 did. And, you know, 05 will be holding the Zig right now. I believe the star will end up going. I believe the last capture will be going to 06 and their goal now is to eliminate 14 and as well as 31. Now let's go back to Nefisto. Is he a bad person? I know he's getting a lot of hate right now, but only thing that I can say to you guys is don't try to hate too much within the game. At the end of the day, it is a persona. Nefisto may have his opinion in this game. He may have a different style of playing the game. We have to respect it at the end of the day. Regardless of whatever he said to me and to the other content creator as well, which is Chisgul, I do not have any hate towards him. I actually messaged him long time ago, you know, in here. I even congratulated him and I was asking him what was wrong a few months ago. And you know what? The funny thing is he is actually the first one to message me back then. So as you can see, I even said stuff in here, and he said, sorry, was closing a deal. By the way, you will see my power up very soon, waiting for Zenit. So, you can definitely see that he was very friendly in the very beginning, and I don't really know what happened and what turned around with his attitude within Rise of Kingdoms. But so far, he has been angry to the official content creators for Rise of Kingdoms, which is very... Sad because instead of us working towards to promoting a big whale, promoting a player who has a lot of power, who is actually like, you know, having a cool account. Instead, 
it this is us to promote him further. I have no um you know, I'm not upset with him, I am not mad with him, but I just want to know what really happened from that day that he was super nice and cool and telling me that he is closing a deal and then one snap things change. But anyway, I guess at the end of the day I could care less what he really thinks about us. We're still going to do our job. We're still going to create content here. It's not going to change. We cannot please everyone in what we do. All I can do is focus on the viewers like you who supports us making contents here in Rise of Kingdoms. So let's take a quick look at what I've accomplished here. As you can see, our channel have gotten 29 million views so far to this date that we have been doing YouTube for nearly five years now. I think that's a, quite an accomplishment, and I don't know why you guys watch my content, but Nefistio doesn't understand why. But we have 29 million views so far, and it is going to keep on increasing in here. Now, now Nefistio, if you're watching this video, I don't hate you. I wish that I could understand you further. I wish I could understand you better in the game, and I wish I could eventually speak to you and understand why you think the way you think. I don't think you're a bad person. And I don't think people should deem you to be bad at all. I don't think I've ever deemed you bad in my videos at all. But I hope that one day you will have the courage to come up and we can speak and maybe we can interview you and, you know, kind of understand what goes on into your mind when you're playing Rise of Kingdoms. Nefisto, more luck to you. All I got to say, haters got to hate and all I got to do is give you love. Anyway, rockers, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys again next time.